is Kelsey Omondi. I am a student from Alendu Primary School. What I say is that in future, when I grow up, I will I would like to be a doctor. I am in an airplane, strapped into my seat, no way to escape from an hour we have been taxiing around Miami International Airport while while lightning tried to eat us. Earlier I was hoping that the plane might at some point actually take off and fly to our intended destination. Okay, I'm Joshua Okoth. I've been working in this library for around one year. By the time we began this program, the room was totally vacant. We didn't have any resource, but Pat commanded me to go and work. That was her vision. She, tell me, she told me that everything would be okay. And so far, it has been okay with us since we received Molanas. We've received a number of revision textbooks. We've also received um, chairs and tables, which are being used by our learners in this place. Kabla ni kuja stada, siku kwa naandika na kusoma vizuri, lakini saini mejua. Na shukuru stada. My name is Patricia Nudi Rao. So where we are seated is our community library, the, the front part of it. So these were our previous offices. When we vacated and went to our own place, we decided to start our community library here. And the reason why we did, is it was because we recognized that we were working in a community with high illiteracy levels, sorry. So it is one, it is the sub-county that is leading when it comes to uh, liter low literacy. And so we say, uh, we say that we would, would like to reach our community and especially the children and young learners and girls uh, to be able to access uh, reading uh, uh, material, so that is books. Uh, to be able to help them to boost their literacy level. So that is how the community library started. My name is Tyrone Chin. Since we closed, yeah. I, I, or we have been coming here, we get time to, re to recall back things that we did at school. We get time to recall them back in mind. And also, here we come and learn and study and no, get to know more. Even though we are not at school, but here, just we feel like we are in school because we are being taught and handled well with, by our teachers. Library has grown because uh, when we started, there were only five, but now there are more than 30 learners. She helps me read storybooks and do maths. Sasa. Oh. Hii library imekusaidia na nini? Kusoma. Mm -hmm. Na kukumbuka vitu za masomo ya shuleni. Uh, unataka nini ingine ifanywe ili wasaidia zaidi? Waongeze walimu, mm -hmm. waongeze madarasa, mm -hmm. na pia mm -hmm. waongeze materials. Materials kama gani? Kalamu. Vitabu, Raba, Shapena. Yes, challenge. We've gotten uh, well wishers come in to give us some books uh, and also purchase for us uh, some of the equipment that we have. That is the tables and chairs. Uh, but most of the most of this work has been basically supported by us uh, from our pockets and at times it's a little bit draining because the numbers are growing. So from the first student learner that we started with, we are now at roughly 200 per day and that uh, at times uh, is very difficult to maintain. So some people, some learners have to sit outside. We only have uh, two tutors now uh, and so at times it's very challenging for them to be able to attend to all of them uh, and so what started as something that we thought maybe 10 students maybe seven students or five students who come has grown to a place where students come every day 
and we are uh, a little bit overwhelmed by the numbers. Uh, so there is times that we have to send uh, students back because there is no space, uh, literally. And so there is definitely need for us to get resources to be able to advance this work uh, because uh, learners come from as far as five kilometers from this place uh, to just come and as access textbooks because that was one of the things that we realized that a lot of schools around here do not have uh, adequate numbers of textbooks so for them to do their homework they have to come here to be able to do them and at times it's very heartbreaking to turn them away but our center can only handle too much uh, and so that the aspect of resources has been one of our greatest challenge because we don't have any uh, donor or any partner that is supporting this work uh, currently so that has been one of our biggest challenge they are, they are, they, they, the increase has brought the inadequate number of tables and we need s some tables to be added in this place. We also need a number of revision materials to make us move as well. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of uh, progress that has been realized. Uh, learners are able to read better. They're able to, uh, to their confidence levels have been boosted. Uh, we have gotten re good, very good reviews from schools, uh, from, for, uh, from learners that are coming here. So they are able to... Uh, if even if you leave the the literacy and numeracy and basic math and all that, which is great, the life skills that they have developed from this place has really helped. I want to say that hard work is the mother of all success, and sex and hard work will open any door. That has been one of our greatest achievements. We do assessments, and so from the assessments, we definitely see that our our learners are reading, uh, and that's a plus. Uh, we have also seen the growth of this place and just the community acceptance uh, uh, to be able to bring their uh, their children uh, or their learners here, and that also, like for example, a long holiday like two months. Uh, it can be a little bit stressful when the students are just home and they, they lack uh, anything to do. Uh, so our center presents an opportunity for uh, learners to come and engage in other co-curricular activities as well. So we have games, uh, we have Scrabble, we have Ludo, we have card games. Uh, so they are able to come here and engage in those. Uh, we are hoping to expand that. Uh, they are also able to have their talents incubated. So we have talents that we have identified from this place. And the, 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 the learners are able to utilize their time effectively when they are home, as well as uh, build a reading culture. So for us is to uh, inculcate a reading culture in this community. Uh, and to also come up with all-round learners, and we can definitely see that that has borne a lot of fruit so far.
really handle too much. Uh, and so that the aspect of resources has been one of our greatest challenge because we don't have any uh, donor or any partner that is supporting this work uh, currently. So that has been one of our biggest challenge. Um, we have two kinds of donations. We have cash and we have in-kind. We take both. So for in-kind donations, that is if you have books, if you have chairs, if you have a space that you'd like uh, to donate to us to be able to construct a center, uh, we will be able, you can reach us through info at stadakenya.org. Uh, if you want to give support in terms of cash, uh, we have a PayPal account, we have a bank account number, and we also uh, have an m -Pesa line that you can send your donations to. Uh, and so those numbers will be uh, here so that you can be able to just uh, uh, donate to us. Uh, if you're willing to volunteer, we you can also just reach out at hr at stadakenya.org. Any kind of support is, is uh, welcome. So from 10 shillings to 100 to whatever amount, to one book to 10 books, we will arrange how to uh, pick it from just volunteering your services to be here with the children and to just uh, also inspire them and motivate and mentor them, that, that also will be, will be uh, support that is required. So no support is locked out. So feel free to reach out to us in case you want to support us. Okay, so currently our students are coming from Rabur Primary School, uh, Migingo, Alendu, and Nyamwari. Uh, so those are not just around here. Uh, but we are willing to take as many as we can. Uh, we are cognizant of the fact that some of them come from really far. Uh, and uh, maybe we will devolve to go to those spaces as well so that they don't have to travel so far. Uh, but yeah, I, I think we are willing to take in anyone so long as they can be able to access this place and we hope to devolve to other communities so that uh, learners don't have to walk long distances to access this place.